Hello reformers and welcome back to 108 Heroes. Now when we left off, we uh, undertook a mission, whether we choose to accept it or not, Mission Impossible, and uh, we're going to be attempting to take out this fellow in horse combat. Now, what I have heard from a couple of people in the comments, I very much appreciate any tips because these guys are crazy good. They are really very, very powerful. And uh, what I'm going to try to do is I will try, if at all possible. Can I? Do I get off from the? <laughs> uh, I was like, I'm gonna get off my horse. He 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 did that. He he did he did make me get off my horse. Now was that the quickest death that I've ever had in an episode? Because I know that I've started an episode previously. I mean, I've made so many episodes of Warband in general that it's going to be kind of difficult to really ascertain the precise, you know, time when I might have actually died within the first 10 seconds or something. I think I have. I, let, let's face it. I think I probably have. Anyway, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try and lure him into the wall, if at all possible, and then I'm just going to hit his back. I know this is kind of a bit of a cheese maneuver, but it's basically the only thing I can really think of to kind of get a victory here, because the AI is kind of annoying when it comes to dealing with this kind of thing. And bear in mind that this particular spear, this weapon, it only has a thrusting ability. You can't do anything else with it. I, I, you can just do a thrust, and that's all. So there you go. That's... <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a cheesy tactic, I know, but I very much appreciate the tips in the comments that you leave because the other two, the other two guys, oh, there you go, your combat skill really matches your reputation. Hats off to you. All right, fantastic. So now what we're going to have to do is I will have to find the other fellows. Now, someone said that the bow, f the bow person, the bow fellow is going to be a little, probably a little bit easier than the guy off the horse, but for hilarity's sake, I'm going to find the guy that is off the horse, because who knows, maybe I'm going to be able, no, I'm not going to be able to beat him, let's face it, I'm not going to be able to beat him in two million years, but you never know, maybe I will, <laughs> uh, I'm being foolish, I'm sure I'm being absolutely foolish, okay, wait, wait a second, wait a second, what, what am I doing here, I want to have a look at Wu Song, Wu Song, that's his name, let's go all the way to the bottom, and where is, where is he? Wu Song. Oh, wow. This is, okay, there he is. Okay. Whoa. Okay, that guy. Whoa, he's got 64,000. Wow, he's, yeah, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. Okay. So increase all abilities per three deaths of allies. Okay, that's pretty insane. All right. So he is the lord of this place. But where is that? Oh, my. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I actually thought it was going to be much further away. All right, so I have arrived here in the town, and I'm... <laughs> I've just... <laughs> okay, I apologize. I, uh... <laughs> I've, just... <laughs> I've just seen this. Do you see the, Do you see the neck? <laughs> oh, I don't know why I find that so funny. Okay, never mind. Let's, uh, let's just move on, and I'll try to keep my composure. All right, I want to know the location of someone. Yes, um, Wu Song. Yes, I, I, he's in, he's in the field. <laughs> Can you see him? <laughs> Can you see him from way up there? Okay, never mind. Let's, let's not say anything. Okay, and he should be close to da, Daju, Daju, Daju at the moment. All right, let's, let's go to, let's go there <laughs> and see what's happening. All right, so I found the guy that was, uh, that was kind of amusing, wasn't it? With that, uh, with that lady back there. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to hopefully fight this fellow and win against him. I have been told by a couple of people in the comments that this guy is basically impossible. So let's see whether that's actually the case. I mean, it might just be that I get a bit lucky. Maybe that's it. Oh, I'm, I'm getting lucky. Getting lucky with some hits here. I think if I get hit once... I oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay, no, not bad, not bad. Oh, we took him out. Wow, if I'd been hit one more time, I'd be dead. I'd be absolutely dead. That was that was pretty crazy. All right, so we did achieve a victory against him. Kind of surprising, to be honest. And we have now completed this. So we now need to go and speak to Hong Jin. Now, the main reason why I did not want to go after the guy with the bow 
is that the guy with the bow is, is no doubt going to murder us. I mean, I know that someone actually did give a pretty cool strategy in the comment section of the previous episode. So if anyone's having problems with this quest, if you're playing alongside me or whatever the case, then that comment is going to help you out. It's basically, you just go close to the guy and he switches to his fists and he doesn't have any other weapon and he can't really do anything and then you can just headshot him in the face. That's that's basically uh, what I what I gathered from the, the from that strategy. Anyway, as you can see, this guy is basically in the middle of enemy territory, so he's going to be uh, having some problems <laughs> getting out of here, I suppose. But I am going to have some problems getting all the way back up to this town here. It's going to take me a while. All right, so I've been traveling through someone's territory. I haven't really taken a look at any of the towns or anything because I've just been concentrating on trying to get back. And these guys are actually blocking my path. So I thought to myself, okay, let's try them out. There's only 55 of them, but obviously they do outnumber us quite a bit. And these guys have a huge amount of cavalry and that might make things kind of difficult. So we're going to try it and we'll see how it goes. I think I might... Oh, wow, they didn't ask for a duel. Okay, I'm going to ask for a duel. Why not? I am a little bit injured, by the way, because I did do a little bit of a fight with some random bandits, and I took some damage. So, yeah, let's see if I can, let's see if I can actually win here. That means I will get full HP, which is obviously going to help us out quite a bit. But, yeah, I'm I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, let's see if I will be able to beat whoever this is. Who are they nominating? If it's a cavalry, then we have to watch out in case he has a lance. Wow, they they all have lances. It's crazy. These guys all have lances. Okay. Well, whatever the case, I'm going to murder him as much as possible. Yep, he's dead. Okay, we're full HP now. Fantastic. And uh, now I... C oh, dear. Oh, no. Yes, these guys are going to be extremely difficult for our forces to, to handle because they, they all have lances. I mean, I can basically... All I can do is just take out their horses. And that's basically all I can do, really. And maybe I can do a little bit of damage to their veteran footmen and things like that. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be one of those times where we're basically just running around. Hopefully I'm not going to get killed instantly by one of their lances. Because, let's face it, that would be an utterly devastating blow to our morale. And uh, it seems like I'm actually doing a pretty decent job of basically just... Well distracting them as much as possible but as you can see th these guys are kind of like uh kind of like the jatu from pendor i know i keep i keep kind of like referencing pendor and everything but it's kind of true because i actually just took 47 couch lance damage really surprised i actually survived that am i going to survive any further though that's the question anyway yeah these guys are much more like the jatu than i would like to say because the jatu also come along with a whole bunch of lances and they do make things very, very difficult for anyone wanting to fight them. But I am hoping that even though we are losing quite a few units here, even though I would like to try and find some additional companions, maybe with some medic skill and stuff. But yeah, anyway, the point is, is that... Oh no, she's been defeated. Oh wait, was that the enemy leader? No, that's not the enemy leader, that's our companion. Why, why, why is she saying see you next time? Oh, that's probably why, because I'm dead. Okay, so we're actually going to lose this because, well, obviously because I'm dead and they don't have diplomacy in this mod, but uh, yeah, that, that's kind of strange, isn't it? I thought we were actually going to be able to, to win here, but no such luck. Alright, so we have now returned to the town and Hong Jin and we're going to be speaking to him. Alright, whoa, 5,000! That's crazy, 5,000! Oh yeah, by the way. I actually did stop by at one of the towns along the way, and I found two companions. Not one, but two companions in the tavern there. Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing luck. Anyway, he says, Unbelievable. You actually completed the impossible task. I have no doubt in your excellent fighting skill. I think it is the time to grant this book. Yes, I will do my best. All right, so you've learned the mind reading. What does the mind reading do? It can resolve mind knots of people, and it can only be used with the wordless book. Keep all this in your mind, and the effect depends on your thoughts and decisions. Okay, good. For the first time of your cast, I advise that you go to Henan. I was actually just there, amusingly enough, to try and to try and take out the uh, the panther guy, and find a man whose name is Shen 
Quan Shi, uh, I think. I don't know. You will know what I mean when you get him. Okay, besides, please remember that mind reading can only be used once per day. Oh, if you fail to resolve one's mind not, you can only wait for 24 hours to have another try. This is interesting. Okay, I've never never really seen what, what's going on with this before, but it's going to be very intriguing to find out. One more thing. Heroes of Liangshan hold a tournament every month, but they will not grant the permission to those who don't belong to them. Uh, well, I'm, I'm actually a vassal of theirs. If you have any hero who belongs to one of the five kingdoms in your team, you may take part in the tournament by controlling your hero by mind reading. There are several events including competition of high ground, group combat, and guarding the marshal. Oh yeah, that's the Super Smash mode, basically. So if you haven't seen episode one, basically it's just like a... Mm, it's kind of like a quick play kind of thing. So you choose your hero, you go in and you start fighting other heroes in various game modes. It's pretty awesome. Anyway, no matter the result, victory or defeat, you will gain reputation and gold. This is quite worthy of your attention. Okay, so that's that's pretty amazing in my opinion. I'm very, very excited about that. Okay, so let's have a look at the quest and actually see where we need to go. So we need to go to Sheng Tu. Apparently, it, apparently it's Sheng Tu, even though it was actually someone else that he said in the dialogue. Okay, well, whatever the case, we're going to go there. Let's have a look at the wordless book. Okay, it doesn't, doesn't say anything. Well, obviously. I mean, of course it wouldn't. Anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to travel all the way down there. This time around, I'm actually going to make some more stopovers at some towns because the two, two companions that I found, these two, they were free, apart from this guy. This guy was 400, but she was free. So that's pretty awesome, but obviously she does not have a title. They both don't have a title, so they are not going to be extremely powerful at the moment. But who knows, maybe they're going to gain a title later on. All right, before we engage a Sea Raider party of over 100 units and also a unique, uh, unique named guy, I decided that I'd go and take a look at some of the stats of our new companions. And I actually took a look at her and she is fantastic. I mean, just look at her. She's got six wound treatment, three in surgery, three in first aid, and she also has, well, actually three in engineering I just gave her. But uh, that is pretty amazing in my opinion. She's going to be a fantastic medic and I don't know whether there, I mean, obviously there are so many companions to, to acquire here, but she's going to be a really good medic to begin with. And I'm going to obviously try to level up her strength as well so that she can actually start getting some meaningful kills and damage and things like that. So I cannot equip this on her, unfortunately. Can she use a horse? She can use a horse, but that would mean that she's on a pole. She's, she's using a pole arm on a horse. And personally, I'm not a big fan of that. So... Yeah, I've already given the other guy some additional gear. I've actually given him the golden mace, as you can see. So that may give us a couple more prisoners and things like that. But otherwise, I'm pretty happy the way it is. So I'm actually going to go in against these sea raiders right here. And they have 103. So this is going to be kind of interesting. We're going to duel, of course. I Should I allow my... I think, it, it's, I think it's going to be more fun to watch the companion actually go in and fight, and we'll see how it goes. I mean, maybe it would be more fun for me to get the stat bonus. That might make more sense, but who knows? Maybe she's going to maybe she's gonna show herself to be extremely effective this time around, because last time didn't really go as effective as we could have wanted. But we'll try it out. We'll try it out. Let's see. Who, who is she up against? Uh, seems like just a regular... I think that's the regular Sea Raider. I don't think it's actually going to be the guy. Oh yeah, look at that. He's using magic of some kind. It's pretty crazy. All right. Well, it's going to be a bit difficult for us to eliminate. C c c come on now. Come on. You you can you can do more damage than that. What is she actually doing? Okay, that's that was some good damage. That was also some good damage. Very nice. Uh, uh, okay, so now now he's done it. Now he's done it. She's going to absolutely murder him now. So there is nothing he can do. There's nothing he can do because that two-handed weapon that she has is fantastic. And there's no way that she is going to lose. I hope. I say I hope because she's not she's not blocking at all, but she is doing quite a bit of damage. I really wish I'd know how much HP she actually has. There you go. She actually won. Yes. There we go. She advanced to level 13 as well. Very nice indeed. Now I can actually start to help her out and I'm actually going to tell her to run away. 
going to tell her to run away. I do not want her charging in to all of these units at once because she's just going to die. You know, that's just how it is. She's just going to die. There's nothing, nothing to be done about it. So it would be a nice idea for her to save herself. And maybe, just maybe, I can get a couple of kills here and there. And hopefully our reinforcements will be coming in relatively soon. And then we will have a pretty decent time of things. And I've rounded them up pretty nicely, actually, because they all seem to want to murder me. So I think that's pretty good. And obviously, do have to remember that we are not the ones with the stat bonus now. So obviously, that's a bit of an issue. And how many archers do we have? 24. We actually have 24 archers. That's pretty, pretty sizable amount. So I'm actually wondering whether any of them are going to be able to kill anything, to be honest. Okay, so let's just put my archers around about here. Let's tell our infantry and cavalry to charge in. We don't have ma many of those. We don't have many cavalry anymore because they all died versus that uh, du Dujin, Dujin hunters or whatever they were called. And uh, it just kind of proves to me that those guys are a little bit too difficult for us at the moment. Even though I, f I feel like personally we probably could have won that if just something... I don't know, something different had gone our way, basically. Anyway, a lot of a lot of different things are happening right now. I'm actually wondering, did uh, did our one of our new companions actually get a kill or a couple of kills? Because that's that's pretty rare, because she's only using a a pole arm that is really not very good. I mean I gave it to her because it's kinda like the best thing that I have. Oh wow, we've got some more reinforcements coming in here too. Okay, well these are easy as we know. So it's going to be pretty simple. Let's move our archers a little bit closer to the action. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Are they actually getting kills? Yeah, they are actually getting a couple of kills. So I suppose that's alright. I was hopeful that they might be able to get a couple more than that, but well, you know how it is. Sometimes archers generally will weaken an enemy quite significantly, and then an infantry or a cavalry will come in and basically be like, oh, kill steal, you know, stuff like that. But as it stands right now, we seemingly are absolutely fine. I've got 36 kills. Pretty crazy. But obviously, these are just sea raiders. I really would like to do some damage to an enemy vassal at some point. Speaking of that, by the way, our faction that we are a part of has made peace with our previous enemies and has immediately declared war against another. So that's obviously going to be a bit problematic if we need to go into that particular town at some point. Anyway, this fellow managed to escape, kind of unfortunate, but we are able to now take a couple of prisoners there, and we can also take some loot. Nice, very good. All right. Oh, what's this? Ah, what is this? Okay, this is new. I, I, oh, okay. Um, I, I, I suppose it's because of the uh, contribution. You've got a new official, and you will get a faction unique something. I'll have to look at the recent messages in just a second to find out what that is. All right. So the ruler has given us a deputy imperial corps commander official, and has also given us five hundred, uh, five hundred money, and adds plus one strength to us. Is that true? <gasps> we also gained. Some Sky Archer armor. There it is. Oh, what? It's lordly. It's crazy good. Oh my. Okay, I'm pretty happy with this. Pretty happy with that. All right, so let's have a look at the recent messages real quick because that's going to obviously tell us exactly what we gained. All right, so got salary, 500, full renown. Yes, got a new official. And we will get faction unique equipment, which is what we just got. There it is right there. So that's obviously due to the contribution. That's really, really nice. And we are now a two-handed weapon veteran. Our contribution has increased by 19. We gained 19 renown as well. So the more we fight with this two-handed weapon, the better. And uh, I'm actually wondering, what, what, what does the official mean? Wait a minute, where's the official report? Oh, this fellow actually gained, a, gained one charisma because he's near his home. Apparently this is his home, maybe? That's kind of amusing. Anyway, the official report should be over here. There it is. All right, so this is the official report. We have 132 contribution, and we need another... Wow. We ought, we need over 100 and... We need 165, well, plus, to be able to uh, level up. So 132, obviously, plus, you know, that. So we need 300 total. Right, so that gives us a little bit of an extra increase in our party size. And we also get 500 wages per week. That's actually really cool. 
Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, to be honest. All right, well, that means that I will be heading down to... Uh, oh, look at that. They're actually showing how many kills these guys are getting, which is pretty nice. We have 521, by the way. And uh, I'm going to be heading back down to here. And along the way, thankfully they're not at war against us. And along the way, I am going to be going into these towns. Probably these towns right here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, these four towns right here just to look for a couple of companions, and then we'll see where we go from there. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.